Hi, this is Dr. Johnny Nelson uh, from Raleigh Upper X in the Bone and Joint Surgery Clinic, and uh, this video is about uh, what to expect on the day of ultrasound guided carpal tunnel release. So, if you're watching this video, you may be considering uh, ultrasound guided carpal tunnel release, or you may be scheduled for it, or you could be scheduled with somebody else somewhere across the world or the country, and you just want to know more about this uh, procedure. So. This video is meant to tell you a little bit more about what to expect on the date of the procedure. So uh, the main thing to understand about this procedure is that it is a small procedure, right? So it's not like a big joint replacement surgery. This is a little surgery. Uh, it only takes a few minutes to actually perform. And usually, as long as everything is running on time, you should be in and out of the facility where it's done um, within about an hour or maybe a little bit more. Um, so th the main thing to understand uh, in terms of organizational things, so typically if we're only doing one side, you can drive yourself there and you can drive yourself home from the procedure. That is perfectly safe because you're not going to be having anesthesia, medications on board are not going to be used to keep you sleepy and sedated and there's no tube down the throat. So you're perfectly able to drive yourself home. Typically, however, if we're doing both sides at the same time, you should have somebody drive you to and from, mainly because you will have some numbness in your fingertips uh, after the surgery that may take a little time to wear off. And, and, and usually we ask that if you're driving a car and using a motor vehicle, you should be able to feel, feel your fingers, at least on one side. So uh, if you are having both sides done, um, uh, you will need somebody to drive you to and from the surgery. Um, so on the day of the procedure, you're gonna check in at uh, the place that we're uh, performing this, either that's gonna be at the office uh, or more often it's gonna be at a hospital or surgery center. Um, you're gonna go to what's called a pre-op area and there's gonna be nurses that will be asking you many questions about your history and about what's being performed. Uh, it's best to be patient during this time even though you're getting repetitive questions. These are all uh, about a culture of safety to make sure we're doing this procedure for you safely. We're not making any mistakes about things and the best thing uh, the best way to avoid those mistakes is to uh, ask a lot of questions and have multiple people asking the same questions. So be patient with that uh, and, and you should expect that. Um, I will of course see you. I'm going to mark the side that we work on, either one or both wrists uh, with a pen. I'm going to confirm the plan with you. I may ask you some follow-up questions just about your history and confirm things um, because a lot of what you, what I'm going to tell you to expect after the surgery is kind of dependent on the symptoms that you have before the surgery. Um, but I'm going to mark that hand, mark that wrist, um, and, and sign a special um, consent form with you there at the, at the uh, hospital or at the office. You then will go back to the procedure room, right? Uh, the procedure room, um, you'll be basically on a, on a little stretcher, um, and you will be wide awake, right? So that's one thing to understand about this procedure, and it's one of the great benefits is that we don't need a lot of heavy anesthesia. Um, because it's such a, such a minimally invasive procedure, you're going to be wide awake. And I'm going to be there with you, wide awake as well, uh, and talking to you the entire time, asking you about uh, if you have any questions about things, making sure you understand the, the plan of care uh, for everything at home afterwards, asking you about your plans for the week to make sure you don't have something planned that's too heavy or anything like that. So I'll be there with you talking the whole time. Um, you know, the nurses can play uh, music of your choice. So it's a, it's a really low stress environment. I want it to be a low stress environment, uh, but you will be awake. Um, and now when you get into the room, um, we're gonna uh, again confirm everything that's going on. And uh, one of the assistants will then clean up your hand and wrist. And we're gonna basically just drape a few little sterile towels around your hand and wrist. Um, and I will start the procedure, right? Um, and then uh, during the procedure, I will be doing, um, in addition to the procedure, before that, I'm gonna numb you up, right? So uh, obviously you're gonna be wide awake, but we don't want you to feel anything during the surgery. And because of that, we need to use what's called local anesthesia. So it's the numbing medicine that we inject, um, or that, for instance, you may get at the dentist's office before a dental procedure. We numb the area up where we're gonna be working. Um, and uh, that is after we clean everything. So you can expect a little little stick and a little burning feeling while we're putting that local medicine in. That's usually the worst part of the procedure. Um, and for most patients is, is really not anything more than um, kind of plucking a hair. Uh, sometimes there's a burning discomfort. It is very temporary. Uh, but once it's done, you're done and you don't feel anything else during the course of the procedure. So that's very good. 
Um, depending on what you prefer, you know, some patients want to see more than others, and uh, so some patients may want to look at the screen, the ultrasound screen, while we're doing this. Uh, and I'm absolutely uh, happy to do that. I like to teach uh, what, what's going on and show them on the screen exactly what I'm doing. Um, and some patients don't want to see anything. Uh, and if that's the case, then we'll talk about other things or we just won't talk at all. Um, so after that, um, you will be uh, put into a little dressing, right? So that little dressing will include a, a little, some little paper strips uh, right here at the base of your wrist. And then I will put a little wrap around your hand um, that will go around your hand and wrist. And from there, basically, that's it. You're done with the procedure. You go back to the PACU area and um, the nurses will just take one set of vitals and then you're good to go home, right? There's a separate video here that we are going to uh, put out that will tell you more about healing at home after ultrasound guided carpal tunnel release. But hopefully this video on what to expect on the date of the procedure is helpful. If you have other questions, of course, ask me, give us a call, uh, go to my website, RaleighUpperX.com. And uh, yeah, I hope you're well from everyone here at Raleigh Upper X and the Bone and Joint Surgery Clinic.